All right, so move on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my thoughts on Jake Paul and Mike Tyson officially set the fight in the sport of boxing this summer. So the news broke out and completely took over the internet on all social media platforms on Thursday when it was announced that July 20th in Jerry's World in Dallas, Texas at the Cowboys AT&T Stadium, you will see Jake Paul fight Mike Tyson in a boxing fight. The fight will be streamed on Netflix and this is going to be a big fight. And I'm going to explain why. Now, I honestly don't care how old Mike Tyson is. The fact that Jake Paul still has the cojones to call out Mike Tyson and get in a boxing ring with Mike Tyson is absolutely insane. Mike Tyson is nearly 60 years old, but if you guys look at his film, if you guys look at his footage, how he still punches a, pun a, bunch a punching bag, you would mean to tell me that you would still get in a boxing ring or want anything to do fighting-wise with Mike Iron Mike Tyson? One of the greatest heavyweights of all time? I personally wouldn't. Age is just a number for a guy like Iron Mike Tyson. And the fact that Jake Paul called out Mike Tyson for a fight is, is, is just so insane to me. But it's all coming full circle now because Mike Tyson, if you guys remember back in 2020, how Jake Paul went viral, how he became a viral boxer. He was on the undercard of the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones uh, boxing fight where he knocked out Nate Robinson when he started taking his boxing career serious. It was on uh, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones' exhibition card. Now it's come full circle nearly four years later, and we're going to see Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight in a boxing ring. And now Mike Tyson helped Jake Paul get to this point. He can all take it away from him and end him with a vicious knockout to kick him out of the sport of boxing forever. So I think this is going to be an entertaining fight. We still don't know if it's going to be an exhibition or an actual boxing fight. But the fact that we could see Jake Paul possibly knock out Mike Tyson or Mike Tyson knock out Jake Paul, that's pure entertainment to me. And we're going to see how this plays out because... We're seeing Jake Paul improve as a boxer. Now, having his oppositions and his resume is very suspect. It's very questionable. Fighting retired MMA guys and boxers that have not taken the sport of boxing serious in years. But you have to look at how far he's come. He's actually taken the sport very seriously. He's got a team that trains him like a professional boxer now. If you look at his boxing skills in the ring, they've actually improved. His jab, he has a jab now. He has, uh, his footwork is improving just a little bit. The, the small things that you have to look on Jake Paul, he's actually improving. We all know the power has always been there for Jake Paul. But he's starting to put it together uh, as a overall boxer. You have to give him his credit for it. But he still has not fought somebody at his age and the same age bracket. And we saw what, the only time he's ever done that, what happened when he lost to Tommy Fury a year ago. So, yes, his resume is suspect, but you have to, if you watch him and break down the film, he's gotten better each and every single time he's gotten in that boxing ring. But, man, I, I am very intrigued to see this fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Look, if anybody thinks that Mike Tyson is going to roll over for Jake Paul, you're honestly mistaken. Mike Tyson is going to come in there to take the man's head off. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I think it's going to be very entertaining. I think it's going to do very good numbers on Netflix when it's streamed on the Netflix platform. And I think they got a I think they got a true chance to sell out the Jerry's World and Arlington, Texas. I think they have a shot to truly sell out that stadium. And people saying they don't have a chance. It's been done in the sport of boxing before. I mean, Canelo Alvarez has sold out Jerry's World before. Earl Spence Jr. has done great in Jerry's World before. So boxing does great in the Cowboys Stadium. We're going to see how Jake Paul and Mike Tyson's numbers do. But those are my thoughts on Jake Paul and Mike Tyson officially being announced next.